Muddy Horse ASMR. How you like that? All right guys, today we're gonna show you guys how to do the French braid. First, grab your bucket, then your main brush. Make sure that you brush out the main thoroughly. Three. You're gonna start as a regular braid. Divide into three, start regular braid, and then every time you go down, down the main, or down the crest, you're gonna grab a little bit. And you're gonna keep going. Every time, you, since he has his mane on the left, you're always going to go down to the right. Boom. And just keep going, guys. Okay, pause. Yeah. Make sure that every time you grab next, you tighten it up a little bit more to avoid it from drooping. Once you get about here, you just continue the regular braid. And this is the finished product, guys. So a little recap, I'm washing my horse fin and first step after dry prep is wetting them down. You do want to wet them down on both sides and just to desensitize your horse if they are uncomfortable with their head being wet. 
just tease him a little. I know personally that my horse is fully comfortable with water. I'm just poking fun at him. And if you're not comfortable doing that, don't. Do what you think is best for your animal. And after you've dampened down the mane, you're gonna wanna use shampoo. Shampoo not only helps to clean the mane, but also helps to hydrate the roots. If the roots are brittle, the hair will just crack off, especially if you keep it in braids like I do. After you get the shampoo on, you do want to wet it down again because horse's hair is so fine, it doesn't hold water very well. And I'll take this time to tell you, yes, I do use Dawn on my horse, but that's only rarely on special occasions. And after you've brushed the shampoo into the mane, because yes, you'll need a brush, you can't work it in with just your hands, wet it down again, and then you're going to go in those roots and work it. Like I said before, horse's hair does not keep well to water, it will let it all fall out. So if you ever need more water, just continue to spray, but make sure that when you add soap, you're scrubbing it in. And since the mane's the easiest thing to show y'all, and the safest I feel like, that's the main thing I'm doing. Whatever I'm doing with the mane, I am doing with the tail and forelock. For the tail, you'll need a bucket and you'll fill it in. And here's that dreaded blue stuff, the Dawn dish soap. A lot of people don't like the fact that I use it, but as a farm, we've been using it for, well, forever. And after all this, you're gonna wanna let it set in. And here it comes, the blue devil. I am gonna be using it on his body.